Are you ready to buy a tractor, but need to know what implements you're going to use on your small farm? Stay tuned to this video and we will show you what we have and how we use each implement for our tractor. Like what you hear and see? Go ahead and subscribe so you can stay tuned to all things about our small farm here on Chapel Farm. It's a cloudy, windy spring day here at the farm, but we're going to go ahead and go through the implements that we use on our tractor. Be warned, when I show you all the implements, the weeds have already sprung around them, so we just have to weed it around of all of our implements since it's now time for spring. So let's go. The implement that we probably use the most goes actually on the front. This is a just a bucket where we use to scoop dirt, haul dirt, rocks, level out stuff. If you don't have a bucket for a tractor that has a front end loader, you need to get you one in order to help you to continue to maintain your farm and property. Next, we have a box blade. We use this occasionally to grade our gravel driveway, which is pretty long. There are some tines in there that will break up rocks or clumps of dirt, but you can have this box blade um, and use it for many purposes. So I promised you weeds in this video and you can see they have started to grow. But we also have an auger. We use this auger when we need to dig holes to plant trees. You could also use it if you need to make a trench and you don't have a trencher. You can just start digging small holes all right in a row to make yourself a trench. But there are multiple ways you can use this. Maybe you're building a pole barn and you need to dig holes or a greenhouse or whatever it is you need. So. An auger is not a bad thing to have. You can get these, this part of the auger, in different sizes. You can even buy them at like a tractor supplier at Woods type store. This implement is called a bush hog. It's basically just a really big lawn mower. We try to keep our yard that we're not farming pretty clean. So we actually use a a zero turn radius lawnmower to mow. But when you have a lot of thick weeds and bushes and just a mess that's probably as tall as you are to knock down, you're gonna need a bush hog to do this. This bush hog is pretty old, but they don't go bad. You might have to replace a wheel or something, but, or you could also have to replace the blades. But for the most part, and all of these implements, if you take care of them are gonna last for a long time. Our tiller here, this tiller is amongst the weeds and I'm going to try and show you the tines underneath but I don't want to put my hand down there just in case something might be living in there. But you can see our tiller that we use to till our ground in the garden and I'll show you the garden in just a minute. You can put this behind the tractor and you can be done tilling in no time. You can even till somebody else's garden for them if you have a tiller and a tractor. It's pretty easy to hook this tiller up to the PTO. It has a PTO shaft and you turn it on for your tractor. This is our newest implement that we try to keep as clean as possible. That's why it's sitting on a pallet. This is called a mulch layer. So if you use plastic mulch in your garden and you usually put it down by hand and you have a large garden, you know how difficult it can be, especially when it's windy. This mulch layer actually will lay the mulch, the plastic mulch and drip tape, which goes right here on this thing, a roll of drip tape. And it will use these two small discs in the back. Let's see if I can get to it. It's got two small discs right here that will throw dirt up on top of the plastic and then it's automatically done. And the wheels down here, they hold the plastic down. So we use this mulch layer in our garden and I'll show you in just a minute what that looks like.
So this is what the plastic mulch looks like in our garden, and that's actually corn that started sprouting in those small little holes. The plastic that we use is actually biodegradable. So it will eventually compost into the, into the ground, and you're not going to have to worry about picking up the plastic every single year. This plastic has been down for a few months, so it's, it's had time for the dirt to settle and for it to not go anywhere. We also use drip tape underneath. When you are ready to clean up your garden, you will have to, to pull the drip tape back out and throw it away because it is plastic. And you don't really want to reuse drip tape either because dirt will get stuck in the, in the little holes where the water comes out. We have in our garden right now, one, two, three, four, six rows that we've done and it took us only about 30 minutes to do it all we made our rows a little bit wider apart this year so that you can see i can mow on my on my lawn mower in between the the rows and that helps to keep the weeds and grass down we plant mostly corn in our garden uh, we have a we grow a very nice variety of sweet corn that's delicious. And so that's what we will mostly put on these rows here. Um, the weeds, of course, are, are pretty tall. I'm actually mowing today and I've been out of town for a week. So that's why they, they look taller than usual. All right, so we have one more implement or actually two more that is hooked up to the tractor now. This big red thing on the back is called a land plane. And this is mostly what we use for our driveway so that we can actually make it smooth and level. You can use this on gravel driveways. You can use it in your fields if you're trying to make your field level. But this has been a very useful tool for us. We also leave this on the back of our tractor most of the time because it's one of our heaviest implements. And if you're going to be doing anything with a front implement, you need to have something on the back to weigh it down. So we do have forks on the front that we also use all the time. So if I have these forks on the front, I'm going to go pick up a heavy pallet of whatever need, that needs to be delivered. I need to have a heavy implement on the back or it will fall over with you on the tractor. So this tractor has a front end loader on it. And that's this part right here. And this is where we would put our forks or our bucket. We put it on the front. This is also a um, hydrostatic tractor, meaning, let me go around to the other side, meaning that all we have to do is press, press um, the pedal to go forward or back. There is no shifting involved in many of the other tractors. We, there's just a forward and back and then a a break on the other side. The only shifting involved is if you have to turn on the PTO or if you want to put it into a higher a higher gear or or a lower gear. But other than that, it's pretty easy to drive. So having all of these implements, like the front end loader, the bucket, can help you do so many things on your farm. Even if it's just cleaning up trash and hauling it from one, one area to the next, or if it's moving dirt, or if it's moving water. Having a tractor on a small farm with the correct implements can make things a lot easier. So what implements would you add to your collection or what are you thinking about buying if you're just now starting to buy some implements for your tractor? Why don't you go ahead and leave me a comment below of what you're thinking about. Or maybe you have a question about the ones that we, we have purchased. We mostly purchase our implements used. People try to get rid of them all the time. Except for the mulch layer we had to purchase new because that one company it is the only one that makes them. And so... You can only get them from from that company and most people don't get rid of them so if you are are looking for one and you look up on one that someone's trying to get rid of go ahead and snatch that up because it will it will be a long time before another one becomes available so 
I hope you have found this video informative and learned something about what you need to do next on your small farm. So please like this video, subscribe to our channel for upcoming, upcoming videos about gardening, chickens, how we do a small farm in a big town and leave us a comment. Tell us where you're watching from and what you want to see next. So I will see you later for now.